The first five years I struggled flipping houses. First strategy is buy, renovate, refinance, repeat. You can't sustain it because you're constantly refinancing your properties to build more. It's like you own a rabbit farm and you keep on eating the rabbits. So this plaza that I had, uh, we got it running well, cash flowing good. And then I, uh, after about five years, I refinanced, took uh, about 150,000 out of there. And then I just bought like five or six duplexes and triplexes and that kind of stuff. I went on a, a pretty good run there for about five or six years. So I bought about 10 properties in, in five years. So we're in Sarnia, so where are the sort of the prices? Uh, most of the prices were around anywhere from 75 grand to 150 grand. So you're talking Hamilton prices? Well, Hamilton 10 years ago, but uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, Hamilton prices now are, are 250, 300 for that same stuff. And has Sarnia's appreciation gone up? It's gone up probably 25% in the last uh, three or four years. So a fair bit. We're still at the bottom. But your money is primarily coming from cash flow then? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely cash flow. So I bought about uh, 10 properties in the course of about five or six years. And, um, but when you are doing a burr strategy, so a burr strategy is buy, renovate, refinance, repeat. That's yeah. the burr strategy. Okay. You, you, that's a very popular term in, in the real estate circles now, especially nowadays. That's the buzzword. Anyway, so I would burr these properties. So I would buy them with my own money, typical 20% down, fix it up, renovate it, whatever, uh, refinance it, and then take that money and put it into another one. But the problem with that is that eventually you run out of money. You can't, you can't sustain it because you're constantly refinancing your properties to build, to build more. You, it's like you own a rabbit farm and you keep on eating the rabbits. Eventually you run out of rabbits. I was always broke all the time. I said, you know what, I can't, I can't do this, I can't sustain this. So I started flipping because I actually have a construction background. I thought, how hard can this be? Turns out it's kind of hard. Uh, for the first five years, I struggled uh, flipping houses, but then now I've got my game figured out. I've got my crews, I've got my systems, I got all that stuff figured out, and uh, now I'm starting to make money. I'm starting to get some, I'm starting to get some traction. I still have my buy and holds. Now I'm doing my flips. Now I'm actually doing both. So I'm doing you know five to ten flips a year and doing just doing strategically buying the right properties in the right areas. Stuff I never thought about before. I just like what willy nilly. Um, like bars and like commercial buildings? Uh, no, just buying, you know, like there's nothing wrong with buying small multifamily, but you, you know, you want to get them in the right areas. You have to have the right stuff to come with it, the right parking, right? You know, the right setups, the right, all those things I never thought about, the right layouts, things like that you didn't think about when I was, when I was just starting out because you just, you know, if it was a deal, it was a deal. Right. Uh, and then you would find out later, oh, there's only parking spaces for two cars and you bought a sixplex. It's not very good. Now I've got all that stuff sort of figured out can sort of just relax and pick away at the good deals. I have a course I'm working on right now and I'm, I'm just slowly building it after years of experience. Uh, you know, all the checklists that I have to do constantly, you know, when you buy a property, there's a checklist. The renovation, there's a checklist. Afterwards, there's a checklist. There's always a checklist. Uh, so all this stuff is going to be available in the course when I, uh, when I sell this course. All these checklists will come with it. And then maybe even down the road, I'll have some kind of an online course and then all those checklists can be built right in there.